Hi friends, now we are going to talk about how we can find authorization object behind a particular transaction code by doing a debug. Okay, so how can we do that? So you can do F. So suppose I want to know the authorization object behind FV60. So I go to uh, authorization object, uh, I go to FV60, and here I put the company code. And I just want to check what are the different authorization objects that is available. I'll put this and I'll put this. And now what I'm going to do, I'll put slash H. Okay. And I'll save it. Okay. So here you can see these. Now it has stopped. Now I can, what I can do is I can create a breakpoint. And here I will just put breakpoint on authority check. And I'll just execute. Now, if you see, it has stopped. So this is for, I think this is related for the <clears throat> chart of accounts or something, activity type. And here, if you see, this has already been entered. So let me change it. Put this one. Now it sees, you can check that this is for bookers. So here you can find all the authority checks. So this is where you can find the respective authority checks that you might be essential for you. So here you can see another bookers is being read. Okay, then these are different authority checks. Then you have the develop, which I really don't care. And that's it. So the, the object got created. So these are the different authority objects that got called when I saved particular document and this can be used across any transaction so that's it stay tuned to my sap channel and happy sap learning and have a good